Yes, well, uh, I saw Debbie on the television shortly after Stephen's death, and uh, I thought, oh, actually, that's talking about Lynch syndrome, and I thought, well, that's maybe something that in due course I can feed into to come at things from a slightly different angle. Because as you say, the Teenage Cancer Trust is a fantastic uh, on you know what Stephen's done and what Stephen's legacy is continuing to do. Uh, but I, I just thought there's another angle to this. Mm -hmm. And uh, my own family history was that I uh, didn't really find out until you know, uh, a few months ago. I did some research, on, as everybody does these days, into the family history. And uh, it turned out my grandfather died at 31 and we got a copy of the death certificate and mm. it was colorectal cancer mm. and there's another piece in the jigsaw really because my mum was diagnosed with bowel cancer in her early 40s uh, and she had an operation unfortunately five years later that uh, manifested itself again in leukemia mm. and after mm. a five-year battle she died age 53 of that disease uh, it's actually looking back you found four generations yeah, yeah. And, and you yourself have, have been affected? Yeah, I, I fell poorly when I was about 31 and they said I got anemia and there was only tablets and things like that and about six months later uh, uh, I had a colonoscopy and I said no, you're in hospital two days time, you can have part your bowel removed. So they did that, the uh, operation was successful, they had to take some of my stomach as well but basically they plumbed me back together again, a bit of chemotherapy and away I went. Mm. Uh, I had colonoscopies, colonoscopies for a couple of years, uh, two or three years, for about ten years after that. And I thought everything was fine. I sort of seemed to drop off the radar then. Uh, but uh, 20 years later, 51, uh, same thing. Uh, but I knew, this, knew what to look for. Mm. So as soon as things weren't quite right, uh, I decided to go to the doctors straight away after the hospital. Deborah, I mean, statistically, bowel cancer is for people, you know, nobody gets tested unless they're of a certain age. So the Never Too Young campaign, obviously, Stephen's symptoms, you noticed Stephen's symptoms quite early on. You went to the hospital continually, didn't you? Um, but they weren't recognised because they didn't accept that somebody that young could possibly have mm. bowel cancer. So, so tell me about the campaign. So, so that's the, very much the purpose of the Never yeah. Too Young campaign. It's to improve the diagnosis, treatment and care of younger bowel cancer patients. Mercifully, only about 5% of patients are diagnosed under the age of 50, but many of those people are actually in a high-risk group. So those include people with genetic conditions, such as Lynch syndrome, which Andy has, um, or people with an inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's and colitis, for over 10 years or people with a very strong family history of the disease. And so what we're trying to highlight is that, particularly today in relation to Lynch syndrome, is that all patients under the age of 50 need to be tested for Lynch syndrome, which is an inherited genetic condition, which increases your risk of bowel cancer by about 72%. And in order to do that, it's a very simple test at diagnosis. Um, and what that will achieve is well, it will help people avoid the risk of recurrence, such as Andy had. But it will also help us identify other people in the family who might also be at increased risk.